quiet on the set. That means you, wind. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd Out. Doing all the nerd out stuff that you don't want to do. I'm down there getting grimy. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I'm a professional e-bike builder. And we got another custom e-bike here. Okay, so we got a Gary Fisher Cake 3. I'd say this bike is probably 15 years old, somewhere around there, 15, 20 years old. Gary Fisher was one of the first, if not the first, mountain bike manufacturer. Uh, they really pioneered mountain bikes. And this bike still kind of shows what they were doing. This still has some pioneering on it. It's got high-end stuff on it, still has got a rock shocks, front suspension fork on it. You can see the rear swing arm is carbon fiber. So like this is all aluminum, but this is carbon fiber. So it's kind of interesting. It's a full suspension bike. You know, they put it right here. They were not thinking about e-bike conversions back in the early 2000s, obviously. So we put the battery underneath the seat here. It's a small 52 volt, six amp hour battery. It's pretty inconspicuous. And it goes to a BBS 02, 750 watt motor. Puts out almost 1500 watts at peak. Uh, we got a gear shift sensor here, which just cuts power while you're shifting. It acts like a clutch on a motorcycle. So when you're shifting gears, you want to disengage the clutch or engage the clutch, shift gears and then re-engage, disengage. That's what this does. It just acts like an automatic clutch. For the display, we just went with a basic black and white C965. Still shows all your information except for real-time power consumption. That's pretty much the only thing it doesn't show compared to other displays. It's got a throttle. It's got mechanical brake levers with cutoffs built into them. So when you hit the brakes, you're not accidentally sending power to the motor. It's a full suspension. It's got more road-oriented tires on it than anything. So it's gonna be pretty smooth. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test and see how this bad boy does. Yeah, so you can see mid 30s for top speed pretty good at hill climbing and you could all those things are adjustable if you want more top speed put a bigger chain ring up front if you want better hill climbing put a smaller chain ring up front but i think you know the stock chain ring this one's a 44 tooth this is going to be good for like an all-purpose you know commuting good at hill climbing will still get you up any hill especially if you pedal with it as long as you could stay on the bike this bike will get you up that hill yeah it's a good little commuter bike all right thanks guys